Boys and girls, Marty Borgie is back with another instructional video. So if you want to see me out on course, you should definitely check out Regency because we've been filming a lot of great stuff lately with Bryson, Hogan, Luke and some amazing guys out there, some great matches. So if you want to see me out on course, check out Regency. This is something different because this is about three, <laughs> three, German three right there, three swing tips your local pro is probably not teaching. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great guys out there that do a lot of great golf coaching, but it's very likely that you haven't heard of these in this particular manner yet. So, number one, golf shoes are essential for a great round of golf. I'm just kidding, so number one is actually a question. When in the downswing do your hands peak in terms of speed. What does that mean? In short, on the way down, at what point are your hands the fastest? And most amateurs that I talk to would argue, yeah, that's an impact. But no, they're wrong. Yes, the club head is accelerating all the way through to impact, but the hands actually are not. So when you think about it, it makes sense. So on the way down, at some point, the hands actually have to get slower to let the club head take over and let the shaft do the work to accelerate all the way through. Let the shaft kick. Great club fitters, find the right shaft for you to get the best benefit out of that. So next time you swing a golf club, I want you to think less of this to accelerate all the way through. That's why a lot of people, I feel like, are trying to hack at the golf ball because they believe they have to be the fastest at impact with their hands, but they actually shouldn't. Next time, better think, whoop, peek, and just throw it out. Throw the club out to the right. So like, whoop, peek, whoop, and then it's actually a very smooth motion. And tip number two actually adds to that because I do not want you to do this, peek, and then whoop, flip, but I want you to keep your hands forward and actually let the torso turn and bring the face in its place. And I got a device for you that helps with that. It's this one right here. Looks a little bit like a cyborg kind of device, but it's actually amazing. So you put it on your right hand, you put it on your trail hand, all the way down, all the way down right here, boom, then attach it with the two bands. It looks a little bit like a Terminator movie, but I tell you guys, this bad boy helps you to feel this and what I'm talking about. Super interesting. I've learned a lot with this because, well, it's my job to hit long drives, but not flighted wedges. But the more I film with Regency, the more I have to hit flighted wedges. It is what it is. So you got it on your right hand and then you hear, it actually gives you a little bit of an audio feedback. Put it back in place and then, so what does it do? What I've shown you in another video is, the wrist is actually doing three things. It's doing internal, external rotation. It's doing ulna, radial, and then it does extension and uh, flexion. And look, I can flex it. And I mean, the other hand is doing the opposite. So what about this position in effect? Actually kind of interesting. And this is how it adds to it. You swing back and now you can hear when you're actually hinging a wrist. And I probably want you to hinge it later than you do right now. So this right here, no bueno, right? You hear it. So you want to hear it fairly late. And then rotate on the way down with your torso. Keep that shaft lean forward. So you actually take dynamic loft boop, boop, off the club. So you hit it further. And at the same time, you put yourself in a position to square the face a lot more consistently. Maybe. Maybe. Two and one, pretty cool. You see most pros out there, by the way, having a forward shaft lean. With drivers on a long drive club, it might be a little different, but definitely when you're hitting wedges and irons, you want to be in that position. So what I want you to do is you pick, you pick the ball, swing back, hear it fairly late, and then rotate, okay? And think where you want to peek. You want to peek around here, and then just let it go. Here we go. You see how it rotated there? 
I like this one. Precision Impact Golf, an amazing device. And they give us creators a little kickback on every single one of these purchased. So check out the description below if you want to get one of these. You help the owner, you help myself, and obviously you help your golf game the most because this is amazing for a bunch of different drills and I'm gonna do more videos with these on how I've utilized this to actually get the most out of it. But one more tip for you when you get this thing, what helps the most is to actually feel on the way down to push against this device on the way down, which is super contradictory to flipping towards impact. So you wanna push against this to actually stay in the right spot. Tip number three, three, is about tempo. I told you guys before that I like the swift takeaway. So right here, maybe with a little bit of a trigger move, like boom, whoosh. but there's another element to it. And how I think about it in the meanwhile and how I try to store energy in the club is I be, I'll be swift, then I'm patient up here, and then I whip it. That's what it's about. So it's loading and unload, loading and unloading. That in combination with tip one and tip two can definitely upgrade your golf game. As a drill, it might look a little bit like this. Look, now I was editing the video in the registry office and all of a sudden, <laughs> Adam took that thing and is already practicing with it. Yeah, because How are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. The dream was always to be a cyborg in golf, uh, you know, perfect and you know, have the repeatability that most professional golfers want, as do I with other things. So here we go. What a shot. That's pretty clicked. And the spin, and the click. Did it click? It did. It clicked it. A little external, internal. A little radial deviation there. So here we go. I mean, now is the time. You've seen Adam in the video. Now is the time to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to test with it next and how you like this thing.